Greetings and welcome to RuralVacantLand.com, where we have easy, cheap land priced at 50 to 80 percent below the competition. Today I've got 20 acres for sale, um, north of Hinkley, north of Barstow, off the, the 395. So there's a little. This is the center of the property. There's a little two track that runs through it. There's a little bit bigger two tracks on either side of the property. If we scale back, we can see the area. This is, uh, there's little two tracks running all over the area. There's a dry lake bed off to the, the northeast. This is the 395. North goes to Ridgecrest, south goes to Barstow, um, Kramer Junction over to Barstow. There's uh, this mountain down here, uh, Fremont Peak is a state, state park um, with campgrounds and hiking and I'll show you some pictures of that that mountain range. Um, this one over here uh, actually has a little fly through. You can kind of look at the countryside a little bit. This valley runs north-south except for a couple hills like this one that stick out. And you can see there's lots of little two tracks running in different directions around this this area. I think there's a lot of off-roading that happens, people exploring around the area, so it's a good area to go off-roading and, and exploring. After this, I'll, I'll show you the wilderness areas, and there's some parks that you can go hunting in, uh, Bureau of Land Management, um, big tracts of land, so you could live this area a lot larger than the 20-acre property. Um, doesn't look like there's any neighbors around. Let's go back to the property. See if we can look at some pictures of the area. Um, see what kind of pictures people have taken of the area. Sometimes that, that gives an idea of what's going on. Here's one. I guess these are headstones of uh, off road enthusiasts. They like to frequent the area. There's a sunrise over the, the dry lake bed. Here's a picture of the valley. It's just a knee high or maybe waist high bush um, and mountains. I think that's probably Fremont Peak that they're taking a picture of, or maybe maybe this is up over the valley to so the north. Look at this picture. This looks like the valley, and this peak looks like the peak over here. This picture might be more like over there is where it was taken, but. Uh, you know, here's an idea of the mountain ranges in the valley. So you get a piece of this valley and there's no one around. You get the valley to yourself, basically. And you can take the, you can follow these little two tracks to a little bit bigger two tracks and take them over to Highway 395. Let's see what, you know, those are kind of generic pictures. Let's go to the internet, see what else we can find. Or actually, let me show you the area a little bit more. So this is where the property is. Let's pan out some more. Um, Ridgecrest is up here, Barstow is over here, let's see if I can, here we go, here's Ridgecrest and Barstow, so you're kind of halfway in between Ridgecrest and Barstow, and I'll give you directions um, coming up, but, uh, you know, here's the, here's the five over here, you're not that far from the five, let's go to the internet, so first let's look at prices trying to figure out how to price this property. So I was looking at the neighboring areas. Ridgecrest, I did, uh, there's not a whole lot listed in Ridgecrest, but you know, 10 to 50 acre properties, the cheapest thing is this 20 acres for 990. Um, and they skip up in size from there. So that one's sold, it's not even for sale anymore. But it'd be nice to be half of that price, right? Let's see what else we got. There's a, the, these are Barstow, like these kinds of sizes around Barstow. These are other properties that I have for sale. So I'm trying to be half the competition, not half of myself. But, you know, there's a 20 acre for 10, so it'd be nice to be half of that. Um, so we're talking like five grand would be a good price. I was looking at, at looking at some other ads, like this is uh, Kramer Junction. This is a little bit closer to the property. 15 acres for six sold, 20 acres for seven sold. So those kinds of prices, sixes and sevens sell 
12 acres or 12,000, 14,000, 10,000 doesn't seem to sell. So I'm thinking $4,400 for this property. I'm asking $4,400. That's less than half of comparables. Not, not stuff that I have listed, but half of what else is out there. Here's Hinkley, the actual address of this property. The tax of it is Hinkley. 20 acres for $14,000, the cheapest thing out there. So for $4,400 is definitely cheaper than any of the competition out there by more than half. So $4,400, you can go to my website, ruralvacantland.com. You can use your credit card, debit card, just pay online, and I'll, I'll cover all the rest of the fees and the things yours. I'll get it recorded for you. So where is this property? Um, I put the GPS coordinates into Google Maps. And they've got lines, you know, it's, it's a square rectangle, rectangle I should say. And if you put the GPS coordinates into Google Maps, you can click on the corners and you can get GPS coordinates of the corners. You can go figure out the corners of this property. And if you flip over to the, the satellite image, you can see how it lines up with the little two track that goes through the property, a little bit bigger two tracks that run around the uh, kind of the area. So that's a good way to figure out the lines of the property and uh, be able to go walk the square and, and map it out where where this is. This isn't going to be exact, but it'll tell you pretty much where your property is. So for driving from Ridgecrest, is 58 miles, says 41 minutes. You can probably go pretty fast in these roads. There's not much of anybody around. To Barstow, it's uh, 54 miles. It says hour, nine minutes. I think it's a little longer to go that way. But Ridgecrest, or sorry, Barstow's got a Walmart, Home Depot, supplies. You can get uh, groceries, all kinds of things. Um, it's not that far away. If you look at this map, they've got the Grass Valley Wilderness area. I'm gonna, I'll, look, I'll pull that up here in uh, a little bit. And there's also this mountain to the south. This is State Park. But first, let's go to Grass Valley. Grass Valley is Bureau of Land Management. I like Bureau of Land Management. They don't advertise these properties as parks. So you, you get there and there's nobody there. There's not like a professional brand new parking lot that taxpayers just paid for. You know, it's uh, it's a hidden wilderness. You go explore on your own, and you can't drive in this one. It says mechanized motor vehicles are not permitted, but you can hunt and. Um, you can take your pets, you can take your horse, you can horseback ride around the thing, you can build campfires, you can go camping, you can go camping for 14 days at a time. Beyond that, you got to move around. Um, but you can go live this property like it's yours and probably not see anybody out there. This is the kind of wilderness that is actually wilderness. So there's a website called wilderness.net that I like to use. And let's see what's going on with this thing. It doesn't seem to show me the maps right now. Let's reload it. So here's this yellow is Bureau of Land Management. Let's zoom out. What's going on here? They've got the lake as a having water in it. It doesn't have water, but the property is over here, kind of where all these little roads roads are. Here's Fremont Peak to the south. That's the state park I was telling you about. But if we zoom out some more, you can see the 395 over here and the little roads that run over at Fremont Peak Road. You can probably turn off towards the Fremont Peak and then go north to this property instead of going straight out to the park. Um, these yellows are Bureau Land Management. And these little roads run over to these Bureau Land Management properties. You can't drive on it, but you can park at the border and go hike all over this thing. Take your horses, go exploring, and get back into these wilderness areas that there's just nobody around. You have nobody around you where you're living and nobody around where you go exploring. That'd, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So that, I'm always looking at these things, mapping them out, planning trips with my kids. Um, so check out this Grass Valley Wilderness Area. There's a couple of these these wilderness areas. You can spend a lot of time there and never see anybody. So I pulled up some pictures. Here's some pictures of what comes up on, on Google, these areas, Grass Valley, and then the Fremont. This is the peak, you know, people hiking the peak and taking a look around. It's green trees and, you know, great place to take your dog and just go spend some time, right? 
Fremont Peak State Park. Here's here's the park website picture of the peak. Tree covered mountain. So I pulled up the taxes on this property. Taxes are paid, there's no taxes due. It's kind of like 60 bucks a year for taxes on this property. Um, and then there's my website. If you go to my website, you can go to the subscribe tab and you can hear about more properties like this coming up. If you put your email address in and name, I'll keep emailing you as properties come up for sale. Or click on the listing of this one if you like this one and hit the pay now button and check out with the thing. Answer a couple questions about what title you want it in and address you want stuff sent to. And uh, it's your property. You can go use it the same day you pay for it. So please check out my website, ruralvacantland.com. Thank you for listening.